Welcome back to my video on Windows 10 start menu. So back in Windows 7, they had the start menu that's had been around since Windows 95. Um, and then Windows 8, they changed that to a start screen, which a lot of people did not like. Felt like it was jarring experience going away from the desktop to this new Metro environment. Um, 8.1, they made it a lot better, but with Windows 10, they've gone and combined the Windows 7 menu with the Windows 8.1 menu, which is quite a nice looking, appealing start menu in my thoughts at least. On the left hand side, you've got your most used things. You've got your file explorer, settings, power options, all apps. This is the all programs that you're used to in Windows 7 in previous versions. This also does show you the full screen apps, which aren't necessarily full screen with Windows 10, how they windowed them. Um, back to go back there, but then you've also got these live tiles here on the side. You can click on the little um, menu there, and you can change the name. If you want to make another one, you can just pull something down. Let's pull it down so it's in its own little category, and new group. You can name it as you like. Um, yeah, but say you wanted it to still be a full screen, you can go into settings and personalization, and then you can click on the start option in the menu and use start full screen. Now when we click on the start button, that takes you to a full screen start menu. We've got the um, hamburger button up the top, which you can click on and view everything you're able to see before, uh, but you can still easily get to the all all apps. Um, yeah, so that's your start screen. We can go back and just turn that back off and it's back to the regular size. Thanks for watching my video.